Yep, yep, 1920s-ish. If, wait, I didn't pay attention to the date. 1941, is that the date that they said? 1931, jeez. I need to pay better attention to, to small details in point-and-click adventure games. It's just gonna be the end of me. A bit of an exaggeration, but... That's interesting. A bullet managed to fix the time circuit display? I like it. I really like that. I wonder if we do actually go get to see that car as well. That would be really cool. I don't... Like, I'm sure that we wouldn't get anything out of it? But I just kind of want to see what their impression of a car of the future is going to be like. Also, it would be really grand if we could land in a time without without something bad happening like we I say we Marty crashed into a barn in the first movie in the second time second movie Doc goes driving straight into head-on flying traffic the third Einstein. one we have a, go a now, band boy? of Indians on horses what, 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 is, what is with the, the time circuits I mean okay it's a time machine but Marty has some seriously bad luck when it comes to trying to land in a safe zone. You know, I actually know a place that looks shockingly like this in the US. Okay, okay, wait, 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 no. I was gonna say shockingly like this, apart from the, the town hall or town center is right in the middle um, where that little pagoda was young man excuse me oh young hells man. no it's Edna Who? run away uh, run away me? run away you're the only man in the street and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction naturally you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... One second, one second... There's gotta be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. I am a supporter, but on the other hand, I don't believe he is the correct man. I think they've apprehended the wrong suspect, and that is, you know, you're sentencing the wrong man to death. You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Did Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Did you just flirt with me? Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Um... No. No comment. Because I feel like they're going to come after me and kill me in my sleep. No, nah, not really. That's the spirit. Destroy them with indifference. If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Ooh. I don't know which name I want to... Michael Carleone is the only one that really stands out to me right now. I know I should know these other names, but this is the only one. Michael this is the only one I actually Corleone. know. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. <laughs> yeah, you you got hit on by Edna Strickland. I know. I met you. Wait, back. wait, no, 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 I no, mean, no, no, no. I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better. Oh! Einstein, no, down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. Hang on a second. The fact that Einstein is growling at her kind of makes me think... I know this is a wild theory and I have nothing really to base this on, but I think Edna burned down the establishment. Why would, why would I want to be able to go in there? I just want to go straight over to see Doc. 
I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? I'm pretty sure he was just kind of walking by and he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Loftus's bank of something. Uh, the question is, I don't remember the way to to uh, the to the police station when I'm walking in a different direction. This way, maybe. Yes. Okay, this is slightly jarring, mostly because you're constantly having to change the angles you're walking in. So you're, oh, see the camera shifts, and then now you're suddenly pressing a different button in order to move in the same direction, if that makes any sense. So I was pressing W before to walk forward, and now I'm suddenly pressing A to walk forward for Marty. Um, oh, Doc, <gasps> Marty, Doc. What are you doing here? I could give you a hug, you apart from the me, fact Doc. that you're, you're behind bars. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Yeah, naturally. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Um, ooh, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, going back in time isn't going to fix it. We've already established ourselves in this current timeline. Um, alerting the authorities, we've got no evidence. And talking to the gangsters, I'm pretty sure it's just going to get me killed. I think we need to find out who really burnt it down, because it, it definitely wasn't Doc Brown. Um, hmm. We can't alert the authorities because it's future knowledge. They're not going to believe us. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, <laughs> do you? Well, do you have any better ideas, Mr. Stuck in the Prison? Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Whoa, Ooh, that's... Right like that. According to the Edna? byline, one Edna Strickland. I should have guessed. Yeah, that's that's glamorization if I ever did see it. I thought newspapers weren't allowed to do that. I thought they were meant to tell stories like it was, like plain cold hard fact. Um, can't alert the authorities. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna go with the go back in time option. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. <laughs> I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Nice. Well, it wouldn't really be a paradox. Everything would kind of just reset itself, theoretically. Okay, there are lots of different theories, and a Let's Play is not the time to discuss quantum theory. Uh, we should just play the game. Um, yeah, I guess I could just break you out of jail. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. Say what now? You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and- No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket no, powered drill into your No, old him, 17-year-old him. 1931 me. Jeez, Marty. Wait a minute, Doc. 
You want me to convince your 1931 self <laughs> to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Marty, you think after three movies you would have kind of gotten the whole different time... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Different time stream people. Different versions of yourself and different versions of other people. You would have gotten used to that, you... Really? Um, how am I supposed to get you to build a rocket drill? Um, where can I find your youngest? Yeah, let's just go with that. You know, screw it. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. <laughs> if they didn't want people speaking, then they would have put. I guess I better get started. A plain old Don't brick worry, wall Doc, there. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Especially with a rocket-powered freaking drill. <laughs> Who comes up with this? Who decides it's a good idea to build a rocket-powered drill? Oh, jeez. Okay. Also, I remember a news article about the soup kitchen exposed. Um, so I don't know if going in here is the best idea. Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. That's... That would actually turn me away from the soup kitchen if I'm brutally honest. I mean, soup kitchens are great. I, I, I like soup kitchens. I like the idea of soup kitchens. But I, I am averse to people kind of, you know, forcing religion on me. If... If you have a religion that you follow, that's great. I, That's your belief to follow. It's not my place to put my atheism or agnosticism onto you. But I, at the same time, I appreciate the same kind of respect, I suppose. That people don't put their opinions or beliefs onto me. Does that make sense? I think that sentence got a little bit away from me. Uh-oh. McFly! Biff? Kid! Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the just soup. Just admiring your suit. Well, yeah, no, I was just admiring what? the soup. Well, what are you still doing? I was going to say here? suit, but let's go with Sorry, soup. Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly. Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah, uh, Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Hmm. Maybe we should burn down the shop. Just an idea. Um, okay, we need the telephone. Yes, I was thinking, wait, we don't have a number, but it turns out we actually do. So that's fine. Brown result. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. I see his calling. The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. He's lived a long life. He's not going to tell you every single little detail. And like he said, it was 50 years ago. He's not going to remember all of this. Uh, ooh. That's a pole. Don't walk into poles, Marty. Oop. There we go. And this way. Controlling him with all of these, like, angle changes is a little bit difficult, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Eventually? Question mark? Um, courthouse is... It's either directly that way, or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Just don't get run over. Oh, yes. Perfect. And we'll cut across the greens, because... 
You know, why not? It's a quicker, quicker access way. If I can just, if I can just control Marty to get him there and he won't die for some unexplained reason. Oh, I guess this is more like a bandstand rather than a pagoda. Huh. Oh, hey, Einstein. Yes, I'm going to go over to pet the dog, which is what I would do in real life, really. There's a dog chilling and it looks friendly. I'm hey, going to pet doing, it. Einie? And we know this dog, so therefore I'm definitely going to go pet it. Poor thing's just kind of chilling. I wish I wish all dogs were this smart. Then again, I fear a, a canine uprising of all dogs were as smart as Einstein. Uh, but who's to say they they aren't as smart as Einstein and they're just playing dumb? Um, who? Eh, there we go. Courthouse doors. That's him. Those. That's him. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. Emmett Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Okay, so basically we just have to stalk him until he gets somewhere quiet and we can... I was gonna say jump him, but mentally jump him with all of this information about about uh, his alternate self and needing his rocket power drill. There you are. Slow down. Slow down. Is there... Ooh, yes! Sweet! I can run! I wish I'd known this earlier. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Um. There we go. Perfect. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Tell, tell him about Jules Verne. Tell him about Jules Verne. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, where, why do we not have anything in front of us right now? Don't panic. Don't panic. Just pick something to say. Ooh, can we go down? Don't worry, I'm a scientist too? See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg oh, bones dear. connected no. to the No, 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 no. Let me handle this. Amazing. Marty, you do not get to speak. You let me do the speaking. You understand? <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together, and we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think this is- I think we've finally drawn him out enough. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets, but I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. The I am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from you about me, mister, but e you're E equals wrong, MC wrong, squared? Wrong. What if we quote it? Then he's gonna believe us about being interested in science. Ah, uh, no, now we've lost him, haven't we? How do we- can we- yes. Hello? No solicitors! What? Oh, well, no. Wait, what? No, we're just a random person. Oh, there we go. Just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Uh, do do do. Come on, you could trust me, Doc. So I guess we're just gonna Damn keep it. probing it's him about the rocket power drill. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character. Oh, I feel like we're gonna like. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A might well be equal to A's You were talking value, about science under your breath. Do not lie to me. I can. I'm right here. I'm right here. Will you just give me Emmett, a chance? Stop. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone.